Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new edition of the Nonsense and Stuff show here on the Beyond Stuff channel. My name is Brian Chevalier and I am joined today by the wonderful John Chevalier. How are you doing, John? Making his best Jim Carrey face. And joining us today is Jamaris Diaz. How are you, Jamie? Yeah, that, that is something. And joining us today as well is Eduardo Pinheiro. How are you, Piña? Nobody is seeing the shark now. <laughs> These people, before recording the show, have been playing with these little puppets that I bought a while ago for so long. <laughs> are you having fun, John? Do you like it? It's icky. I don't know why. Maybe because you're freaking sweating. It's mm. rubber. <laughs> it's look at this. Look. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> <a stuff>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, before this go, this show goes the rail. We're gonna be talking about forgotten gems in the video game industry. We're gonna be talking about underrated video games. And there are a lot of them in any console. So let's start off with uh, with John. John, you are a hardcore gamer. Do you consider yourself a hardcore gamer? Gotcha Force! Gotcha. Everybody should know about <sighs> Gotcha Force. Everybody should know! So, Gotcha Force. Mm. You, you, I've been hearing... <laughs> That <laughs> name for years now. Tell me about Gacha Force. You would think, you would think that is Gacha related. Yeah. But no, it's toys. I'm a toy. <laughs> you like me? You get to play with my fucking toys. But what? <laughs> what? What is the game though? I've never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> 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 Tell us about the game. What is about, about what is the point of it and everything else? It's a hidden gem from Capcom. I don't know what year. 22? 2005. 2005? That's the year Doctor Who came back. So I doubt it. I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> but it received terrible markings. Marketings! Markings. <laughs> <laughs> Marketings! And it flopped. It did. Did it. <laughs> so, what is, what is the game? I know the game is about toys. What do you do in the game? Do you fight other toys? Do you collect other toys? You collect toys and you fight toys. So, oh it's a, yeah. like a toy fighter game. That's not. It's th very anime. I I anime? imagine so. And yeah, there's a shit ton of toys. They're edgy oh, toys. Lot, I mean, I have toys. Of toys I don't know if you yeah. if, if you see John. We are surrounded by toys. It's five hundred the game. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> five hundred. Five hundred yeah, dollars. So expensive. Yeah, it didn't really used expensive. to be that expensive back when it was sold originally, but since it's a collector's item by this point, maybe that's why it is uh, that that highly priced. So maybe with your next stimulus check, you might be able to buy it. Maybe. My fingers are stuck Dolphin in the Dolphin emulator. <laughs> I'm going to have to emulate it. Yeah, it, um, that's the, uh, the other way to get to enjoy that game. Uh, <laughs> but at least you have means to be able to play the game again, not the same way that you used to play it on the GameCube. It wasn't on the GameCube, yeah. right? Uh, I think that got yes. you first. I think that, you know, that feeling when you had like a nostalgia kicker and you're like, <laughs> man, I remember enjoying this game a lot when I was a kid. I want to play it again. That game has to be then, in Steam, uh, dude. Like, uh -huh, it has to be in Steam. And then, and then like no, it is not. It's not. No, and it's then, not. And then oh, you man. find the game, you buy the game, and you're like, whoa, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. And then you play it. It's not as as you know as you remember. That's it. what that's what happens mm. sometimes. But Gacha Force, Gacha Force, very special. 
Doesn't matter how many years has passed. Doesn't matter how old I get. I will forever enjoy the game. <laughs> I will forever enjoy the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, you already have the cost of the game, so if you really want to spend that much, how money, much is it? Five hundred. I think right now it's a five hundred. On no. eBay, yeah. Uh, no. Yes. When yeah. I was in high school, it was one hundred. Just emulate the fuck out of it. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, I, you just do that. Jamaris, uh, do you have any underrated game? Uh, I have one that a lot of like nobody knows about. Every time I mention it, mm -hmm. Custom Robo. No, Wadanohara and the Great Blue Sea. Hmm. I hated it that you are right. I do not know. Exactly. <laughs> I mean it's a really, really. It's like um, it's a pixel game. It's like uh, an RPG. Uh, it's how, how recent? How recent? It's is. old. I used to play it back when I was like in tenth grade. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. I can well, look up. A while. I can look up the. Yeah, I mean we're all you know university kids. Yeah. Well, this is the me. art style of it. I don't know if people can see. I want to see it. Look. I think I might be able to like. <gasps> that is a dog. Yeah. That's yeah, how it, it is. Look. I think I. Well, I. It's really like I don't find fans anywhere. Like I haven't found anybody that's like, yeah, I played it. Like not How even old at college. Is that game? I don't. I really don't know. Where do you play it? My computer. Computer. Oh my god, good times. Yeah. Uh, and Harvest Moon is an old. Harvest Moon. I used to play it on I the GameCube. I think Q. I think there was a little bit of controversy uh, regarding like the actual. Yeah. Recently. Uh, Recently? Yeah, recently. I think okay. like the, the the real developers of uh, Harvest Moon uh, are doing the game like in, uh, I mean, using like the like the things known uh, by Harvest Moon, but w with another name. Story of Seasons. Story of Seasons. Yeah, it's stories of Seasons. Yeah, Story these are the seasons. like the developers of the game of, of Harvest this Moon. This is the one I this used to have. This yeah. is the uh, adventure. Wait, no, no, never mind. This because one. I think people didn't like a like the newest uh, Harvest Moon, so that's this Story is of Seasons. The one. Oh, I've seen. I've the, seen. I've that seen one. it. I, I never played, played it. So like this was the, I used to come home from school, and it's like Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and this was my game. I think, wait, I think there was another GameCube game. I don't know if you got to play it with me. Which one? It was a robot game, a robot shooter. A robot shooter. It was Metal Arm Glitch Adventure, I think. I want to Yeah, it yeah, I remember it. If, it. It was like a yellow robot. Yeah, it's kind of yellowish. Yeah. Rustic, yeah, very rustic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that game was hard. I never passed it. Jesus this. Christ. I, wow. I... Thank you for reminding me, me that game. It would have been on my list. Wow. <gasps> the 007 games, dude. Yeah, but you know, the, those are not underrated games because, you know, people I universally love right. 007 games. But underrated. at least Gold, GoldenEye. At least GoldenEye. I don't know if the games after that. Pina, you future game developer, do you have any underrated game? I have a few. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're not really that old. Doesn't matter. Uh, you just have to be under okay. it, you know. Uh, there's a game called Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery. It came out uh, first in phone. Yes. Um, <laughs> it was really popular back then, but stopped like when it came to Steam. Yeah, it flopped. It's 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 not because it flopped. It's because you know already people just <laughs> played the game already and they yeah. beat it. But it's a fun game. It's not. It's not a hardcore game. It's more of a really uh, relaxing type of game. Well, uh, it has a little bit of turn base, but it's not base. something Fancy. really difficult. Like you can see that it was made at first for phone only. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think if I think people maybe didn't find a reason to revisit the game, and that's why it's been forgotten about. Probably. Because usually the games, uh, games that you know, get to be underrated, at least in my opinion, is because they are their stories or their <laughs> gameplay are remarkable enough, even though it no, didn't it's have really beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can search. I have one stuff. in particular that John bullies me about all the time. He gets the chance, and my pick of one of the best underrated games of all time. Of course, because I really, it's really the Sly Cooper series. Sly Cooper is an underrated. 
It is, is underrated. It's, I mean, do you see people talking about Sly Cooper to the same extent as they talk about God of War, Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank? But it is a fact that it's a PlayStation icon. It, Everybody who's played PlayStation well, has heard it, about if Sly it Cooper. was an icon, it wouldn't be left to dust because I've in every I've never heard of it. I've heard of it because of him. Yeah. If Maybe you, you've seen if, it. If Sly, Coop, I if, don't think so. if Sly, Sly Cooper <laughs> was that iconic, I think we would have seen him in every single piece of Sony marketing. But no, we see games like Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us, and Uncharted. And I have a bone put to pick with that. You know, game is subjective, just like movies, but I always thought that games are supposed to be actually fun to begin with. And I don't... And, and I don't... I, I, despite being great games... Games like God of War, Assassin's Creed, and whatnot. Fun doesn't come to mind when it comes to those games, at least to me. Exactly, you know? but then I mean, you're contradicting yourself because I fun is like subjective. Cooper. I know fun is subjective, but you know, is killing fun? Some people. I mean, Why do you think we have mass murderers? <laughs> yeah, well, there. I mean, games for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita. Never. 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 And I've been playing on PlayStation since I have yeah, memory. Yeah, see, that's my problem because, you know... Uh, I never... I yeah. mean, again, I know it's funny subjective, but I think it gets a little boring to see the same type of games, like same bloody type of games over and over, the new Call of Duty or everything. I think, and that's one of my main reasons why I don't really... Uh, I'm not really in a rush to get a PlayStation anytime soon because... Mm. You see the type of games that they de de develop. Be mm. And basically while they the are successful... Basically, the type of game that you like are not in there. I mean, exactly. It's you're not more in the like, radar. You're more like a Nintendo guy. <laughs> I'm more... Because... <laughs> because I in Nintendo, like, you cannot tell me... You cannot put Mario mm -hmm. and, let's say, Detroit become human in the same room. I... Again... <laughs> because Detroit become yeah. human is such, like... For me, that's one of my if tops, want, like top top games. That game, I've played it so many times to get different routes. The, but if you put me to play Mario, I will not put the same focus I, I had on Detroit. The thing, the only thing that the only thing I get credit uh, to those type of games is that they are challenging and they are challenging. They when put it comes, you to think. Yeah, yeah, it puts you to think, and it uh, furthers the way to tell stories mm. even further. So. Mm. Those are things to admire. Again, it's not that I hate those games. I just don't. You, think you don't find them fun. I don't find them fun because I, at least when it comes to video games, and uh, which is why Nintendo is so beloved, despite you know their lighthearted, their scummy ways and everything. Nintendo is in the position they are when it comes to you know uh, pop culture because their games are fun to play. Mm. This that's used to be Sony when it had characters like Crash Bandicoot on their radar. Uh, Jack and Daxter, uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, a little more often. But back then, That's if you like look Cooper. at that, they're all competing. Like back then, they were all competing to see who appealed to the kid more. Mm -hmm. And for like a character, for ha to have one character that when you look at them, you're like, oh, that's Sony, or oh, that's Nintendo. And but now, like when people you th you think of like most of the people who game now, they want a story. They yeah. want a character development in a story but you can't I really have it with nintendo like i don't i, I don't hate sly, nintendo sly had <laughs> sly had one of the most fun stories in all of the playstation characters mm. that they own right now this is a guy that used to be part of a family of thieves then his whole family gets murdered by a fucking bird and he gets uh he he stays orphan he meets his two best friends, and then they decide to uh, follow their ways of, of his family and start being th thieves. And I think the, the challenges he faces with the distinctive villains that you face in, Sly, in the Sly Cooper games, mm. I think it's, that's what makes it fun. You see these characters like learning about their past, uh, learning new tricks to get the missions done, and the characters are so quirky. Uh, mm. I always see John, and he reminds me of one of the characters from Sl from Sly Three. Actually, he reminds me a little bit of Dimitri, which used to be a villain, and he's like a like he's like a lizard, a very very. Uh, <laughs> he's funny, but he's like the lizard uh, man. Yeah, he's 
he he's a case, and John, you know, he's a case. Yeah. And you know, when it comes to at least to me with Sly Cooper, why uh, do I see Lord Farquhar? <laughs> Why <did you laughs> Whoa, oh, no. I didn't notice. I got you. Got to take a picture of that. I got to show it with the people when I. That's literally uh, Lord uh, this one. one. <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, you know. <laughs> when it comes to, I think PlayStation lost its way. Yeah, they're still making great games with Ghost mm. of Tsushima, and, but you know, they lost that sense of fun. And people, I read I, when I rarely talk about PlayStation, people seems to remember the Sly Cooper games and. That type of game, along with Ratchet and Clank and mm. Jack and Daxter, will be very successful mm. in that in this world, as long as you give it the proper good uh, good marketing, as powerful as they do it with the o their other games, great games. Because despite I me liking the the last Sly Cooper game, it wasn't as good as the other three. Well, the first one is kind of sucky, but you know <laughs> that. The characters are fun enough. It's to okay to admit it. that your favorite thing sometimes sucks too. Yeah, like Ghostbusters 2016. I can admit it. I like it, but it kind of sucks, you know? <laughs> I'm I curious. What did the third game did bad that you didn't like compared to the, the first fourth, and second? The, the third one. The fourth one. I think uh, the change of, you know, studio is one that affected the most to the game. Uh, I think the game didn't service well enough some of the characters but what about the gameplay the gameplay it was good but not inventive enough for me <laughs> and the uh, and the story of the of the four game while it was going the way they were going to do it originally i think without having some people of the original development team really did affect uh the story of the game Despite that, even though it's not, it doesn't live up to those first three games, I think the characters themselves are strong enough to like warrant to be revisited. They even made like a when back when the PlayStation Move was all new, they made like a crossover fun game where they mixed Sly Cooper with uh, Jack from Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, and seeing this these three iconic IPs interact between each other. You can see these characters are certainly uh, iconic to the PlayStation brand. And somehow Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper are two of the, uh, the three that got forgotten. And Ratchet and Clank got saved, you know, because people, maybe they found a way to uh, innovate. Uh, Honestly, I pl I've played that one and it's really fun. It is Which fun. One? I, s I Jack and no. Ratchet and Clank. I Ratchet and Clank is. I used to have it on the PSP and then on the PlayStation, and damn, that's my childhood. But the thing right. is, right. I, I thought I wasn't gonna like Ratchet and Clank because I like cartoony games. Yeah. But when they're trying to tell a story and all you do in the game is just you know there's bad guys. I'm no. You just press square to win and all they do is just. <laughs> e e e e e. And that's it. No, but like it's Ratchet actually really good. Ratchet and Clank. Actually, there's a difficulty spike by a by a lot. Yeah, like it starts super lighthearted, and then it just gets into like "fuck you," and you're not gonna win. You're not gonna pass this part. Like, no, get but an adult. <laughs> yeah, but I think these uh, these uh, kind of games should make a comeback to PlayStation. I think they should revisit their own roots, make uh, <laughs> proper uh, proper Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, bring it back might Psycho be Cooper. harder though. What yeah, thing? because there's a lot to us doing that yeah. now. Bringing with back these kind of characters, I know. With it's having hard. such a big like right now, PlayStation is so much of the storytelling because like the kids who are growing now, like growing up now, they yeah, have but, seen you know, play, PlayStation yeah. as the one with the grown up games and Xbox yeah, too, and then like the kid games are Nintendo. Yeah. So it's gonna be hard for like maybe older fans. Like older fans are gonna be like, yeah, like bring it back, but. Right now, if like I had that the one's consuming believe everything, me, they believe won't. Me. The if I had the money, if I had the money to actually get to PlayStation to make them make a Sly Cooper game, I will do it in a heartbeat. I don't care. The thing I is, I will do it. It's all about the innovation, also, and I guess the story. Story is about memorability. I have never played a single Metal Gear Solid game, and I know all of it somehow. Yeah. You know, but it's like something. It's something so. It it's like it's stamped. Yeah. You know, like uh, something that even if you don't mm. play the game, you'll even either know a sound or a character or like the story, and you've never touched the game. 
So maybe they just need something if I to kind of remind people, like, hey, yo, remember this from this game? Yeah, like, hey. Probably this, maybe it was the story that was lacking I on think, Jack. I think, the, on I think, I Sly think, Cooper. Sly Cooper. I think, oh my God. Honestly, I don't, I haven't seen, <laughs> I haven't seen the numbers on, on, you know, uh, Medieval. I haven't seen the numbers of how successful that game was. I honestly believe that sl making a Sly Cooper uh, remake, or at least, you know, in the same way they did with Medieval, I, th I bet my money it would make even more successful. I think medieval. recreated from the bottom up, not just not, AC, not yeah. just oh for the edition. No, like I would say or the, or the what you guys. If did you're a thief in a, in a in a big world, I think, and I want to say like an open world type game, but make it bigger, yeah. more you know, more immersed. But Save. something that you like, you'll remember it when you finish the game. That will make you go back into it. Because some games, you go through it and, like, the world is not that immersive that you end up finishing the game and you never touch it again. Replay value is very important it's as well. It's really, really Talking important. Talking about re replay value, one of the other games that I think is very underrated. Which and, John, you and I played it a lot back in our PS3 games is Warhawk. Do you remember Warhawk? Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I miss it. He's I know the servers are open. Seriously? Yeah, people. People, not by the companies. People have servers open for it. The game is still alive, but very small. It's what a how? small because community. Jesus! Now I really want to get a PS3 just for that game alone. Dude, by the time you know, considering how many years it's been playing now, we're gonna get fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Erased. Yeah. It's like getting late now to play TF2. Team, Team Fortress. Fortress. Mm. Mm. You guys have any other games that you think is underrated? I John. feel I have more. More. <laughs> I believe I have more. I have another one for Not you, Not underrated, yeah. but too much people talk shit about it. The Sonic Booms. The game? Sonic Boom series? It's good. I, I didn't play it. On uh, the I series or the game? The game. Uh. It's fucking laggy and broken, but the characterized. I love it. Yeah, that was but people main. shit on it so I much. I think a lot of those Sly Cooper like, uh, Sonic games uh, get out very trash, but you know, their music is fire. Yeah. I, think one I of, mean, it's one Sonic, of Sonic is one of the franchises that they were going all right, and then like it got shit. And then, like, they started bullshitting their way through. And then Sonic Boom came out. And people were, like, it's super divided. I remember when it came out and people just went separate ways. Like, they just went, woof, and did two groups. I'm a and then, like, Sonic, what was the name, the last one? The previous? Of uh, after Sonic, after Forces? One? Sonic, Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces, the yeah. one you can make your first Sona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Sonic Sona. Th nobody can talk shit about that one, though. It's actually good. It's actually really good. I have seen gameplays. I, I have it, by it. the way. I, I have it and it. I haven't played it. I have it. If you have, have if you watch gameplays, hello. Uh, from Nani. Tech. Hello, no. Detective. What the hell? I hear only from one ear. I well, me fellas. too. Yeah, I'm gonna be like this. Well, then. Anyways, you can just take your f headphones if you like. I can just monitor everything. I don't know why that happened because I'm still hearing well. Anyways. Yeah, que está registrando. Oh well. Uh, the All thing. Right. I I'm. A big defender of one particular Sonic game that people I think hate. Sonic hmm. 06? No, no, uh, that's Sonic uh, XD. What no, it? It, uh, XD, no, DX. Sonic, no, Sonic, <laughs> and <laughs> the Seven Rings for the oh. Sonic and the I really have fun with it. Sonic I really have rings? fun with I mean, it. Mean again, fun is subjective, but really. Which it one was Seven Rings? Which one was that one? With After the, with the Black Knight? You explain. Before, before, before the uh, the 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 Black uh, Sonic and the Black Knight was it? Or the okay, the order. I think if I remember, Adventure to Battle, mm. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes. Mm. After Shadow. To Edgy. Which one came? My man had a shadow? gun. <laughs> <laughs> that was just Sonic, Edgy. He shadow, Sonic Heroes. Uh, Heroes. Wasn't Sonic that one like something about a sword? They said Black Knight. That's the Black yeah, Knight. Black Knight. Black Knight. Sonic but and I the Seven Rings is the I one where he has like the, the little fire. I think mm. after the Black Knight. Oh, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. I, I, well, a little too challenging for me because you know I'm a Dumbo. 
But uh, I, I really like the. Was that between? Like, that after was or that was when Unleash? they were they were bullshitting. That was the era where they were just like, yes, yeah, so this, Sonic and every fucking world is, now. This is Sonic. This He's is Sonic's, traveling. You know when horror movies get to campy and they just go nuts with their horror characters. That's what happened to Sonic. Yeah. Ever since Sonic and the Seven Rings. Unleash was I good never, though. I never, I never, Unleash I never, was good. Wait, Unleash was, was good. Wait, good. You said it wrong. What? You said Sonic and the Seven Knights. And the Seven Rings, I said. I heard knights. I, I said rings. We're gonna he have said to watch rings. the episode. Roll the tape. No. I, I said <laughs> you're gonna have to edit. I now. think yeah. I think you're he said. No, I, I think said he rings. said rings though. Like I, I got it. I I but, said rings. Dude. I love the theme song I, d- for I Seven I don't rings. like Black Knights. Then if we're gonna be talking about <laughs> Sonic, I don't like Black Knights. It has a great theme song. It has a great theme song, but the game I don't. I mean, like Crush Four, you always crush it. I hate the argument of everybody that said, "Oh, you're Sonic. You're supposed to be fast." No. Sonic was built from the be- very beginning. You know, the first Sonic the Hedgehog is a platformer. Yes. You know, sure, you're fast, but you still need to jump optical and all that shit. All that who dad. You don't get any of that. Uh, barely in Sonic Black Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like the sense of at least mob- uh, mobility, you know, control where I want to go. Mm-hmm. But Sonic and the Black Knight, you, 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 you can legit let go of the controller oh. and it'll run for you. Not literally. You, it'll yeah. stay still, but you get the point. I don't like the whole corridor, hallway gameplay. I kind of... Sonic and the Seven Rings was one of my first Sonic games in a while. I think it was one of the first few uh, Nintendo Wii games that I bought. And I remember having fun with it. I really enjoyed the the theme song. But again, the music in Sonic... Uh, I mean, it's memorable. It's oh. part of for, it's part of for the soundtrack of her life. <laughs> how about I'm sorry. You, how about you, Orlando? <laughs> Do you have another another underrated video game that that you think deserves attention? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what <laughs> game? Game? Game Pie that you Tasmanian think that should get thing? What? Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Damn. Jesus wait, what? Christ. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. That's Tasmanian definitely Tasmanian underrated. Tiger. How old are you guys? Uh, 24. I am, 24, 24. I'm 24. Right? I'm 24, soon to be 25. I'm 24, right? And I'm you're 20? I'm, I'm 24. 24. <laughs> you're, fi- you're 50. Yes. Oh, fuck. No wonder, like, you guys keep talking about really old games, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Just the way Bruh. she says it. You were alive by Titan. Ty- 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 How old was that? What year? Um, I think it was the again, early, what, I think it was the early what, 2000s, John. Because if it was something like I was born in 1999 in December, so hey, by Google, when the Tas- Ty the Tasmanian Tiger came out. According to the Xbox Hub, not the re-release. October 2020. What? The, yeah, there's the, a Tiger Switch. It's on the Switch. Yeah, I, oh. I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it because I remember those games. Um, they were because fun. like you guys keep talking about games. Get honestly, I don't know about. How about because you, Eduardo? Sure do you like, ha- have, have any have to any other game in mind? I have to direct look her up. Uh, I have. You sound like a mosquito. <laughs> 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 Spyro. We haven't seen Spyro in a while. I mean, Spyro is not on the radar or anything. I was two years old. Damn. Jesus Christ. I was two. Oh yeah, my. Yeah, but uh, what about Tiger Tasmanian Tiger Two? Dude, but the first one, man. I remember Toop. the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Toop. Toop. No, I remember. Toop. No, but I I played the first one and it was fun, day. right? It was really fun. Twenty oh four. Back I in the day. I was four. Another game, John. I was four a little more old. recent. A little more recent. How about that I think Ryman Arena. Right. Ra- Ryman. You don't. Mm-hmm. Ryman Arena. I have to see it. The racing game. And the battle game, también. Oh yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. You say yeah, 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 but I'm yeah, not convinced. Did yeah, you, no, did you guys, it was, it was did racing, you guys right? play the, the the racing crash game? Christian I have it there. I'm waiting to Wait, play with you, you guys. You mean the OG? The OG. Oh, no. Then you played Tiger, the Tiger, and Tiger. That's your old. Anyway, I don't think I did. Let me see. I have one. I have one. Hold on, hold on, John. That you might remember. Okay, let's see. It was Crash Team Racing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not the Nitro Fuel. Let's see the OG. Original, I'm just gonna put original it like release. Original release. Just look should, it should be there. It should be there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? PS2. Put PS2 in it. PS. I don't think. I CT, think it was CTR is not PS2. No, it was uh, PlayStation uh, one. 1. 1? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, look at that shit. I remember yeah, that. Funky as hell. 1999, I baby. I was born in 1999. <laughs> and what? you still played it? Maybe she played it uh, you know, later. Yeah, like, yeah. I came out of the womb and I grabbed the controller. <laughs> <laughs> John, I, was like, I, have, I have another game that you might remember that we enjoyed a lot. Mad Nation Racers. That one is actually underrated. Yeah. It had a lot of potential. It had a lot of potential. It only came out like on the PS3 and one version on the on, on the, the Vita. V on the Vita. The Vita that died a little too quickly. Sadly, actually. I didn't have internet at the time, so I didn't get the chance to see the right. you know created oh. map from people. <laughs> I think I used to uh, navigate to uh, with um, recreation of Mario uh, Kart, uh, you know, races, uh, you know, circuits and all. And I, I really, what I really liked about uh, Nation Research is the massive customization that you were able to have, not yeah. only on the on the circuits, but with the characters and the cars. And I think that's one of the games that should make a comeback. Wait, there's an underrated, not yeah, underrated, yeah. not underrated, but yeah. don't, a lot of people don't talk about it, but people know about it. The um, it's a Zelda game. Is the train one? Oh, Spirit Tracks. And the DS? Oh, yes. You remember that one? Yeah. Is that? It's so good. It's so complicated, it but it's so good. Is that the game of uh, the Zelda is like a like a knight or something? Uh, yes, that one, yeah. I never, like, outside of Brothers of the Wild and Wind Waker, I never played any other Zelda. It's so good. I it's do, really good. I that do DS one. It. That DS one was, that was my, that was my childhood. That I used to play it so much. Spirit, um, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Horror Lab it was it was really good. And Wind Waker is oh Wind, Wind Waker. Oh. Do you know back when I remember w back when it was released, I really wanted to play that game. I think that uh, Wind Waker came like uh, I I think it, I, it, it was released, it and then I think I Animal it, Cr I Animal Crossing I released. It was in two two thousand. I, it was around that because like, it was on the GameCube, and yeah. I think uh, Wind Waker. And Animal Crossing weren't, weren't too far off. Mm -hmm. What I remember was that I, mom bought me. Two thousand and two. Mom bought me I the. I was wind only two <laughs> years old when that came out. Jesus. My mom bought me uh, the uh, the Wind Waker game, and I didn't make it past like the the level with the, in the prison. I didn't really? make it past there. There's I was scared of it. That was a dragon uh, thingy, right? Yeah. Me, dungeon. Me and then you had to get in the um, little barrels and like hide from the lights. Uh. The thing is, I didn't make it past that, so I made mom return the game, <laughs> and she has changed it for the first Animal Crossing. Really? Yeah. I didn't play it much because by then my dad bought a a game of based on a movie called Robots, a animated movie called Robots. And I played that With game. With the blue robot and the red yeah, one? And yeah. Yes. And, I, and I was playing that. <laughs> that and, I was movie. Playing, and I was playing the game based on the movie. And by that time, my uh, my uh, my brother, Saul, uh, s noticed that the game queue was getting hot. So he had the bright idea to cool it down with ice. <laughs> and the game queue never recovered. Jesus. And it took a while before I had like another uh, gaming system. I think I eventually had... I think another GameCube or, and the weirdest thing, uh, there's this part uh, near here where we, where I live now, mm. and they used to sell uh, like a lot of things at night, and one uh, one night long ago, my step that comes in with a vintage uh, Sega Saturn, that no I I believe nobody knows shit about that console, and it had vir virtual fighters didn't play because I'm not mm -hmm. into fighting games. And it was there was this other game called Knights, which is like a like a purple character like in dream in a dream world. I don't know. And despite how weird that game was, I had fun with that, but then we moved on to the PlayStation 3 and my brothers had the Resident Evil games, which I'm still scared about. And Damn. I was more I was Resident more Evil. I was more into WWE, which I believe most of WWE games are underrated, uh, like because these those games are fun, wrestling games are fun. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I oh, mean, oh, don't tell me man. wrestling is is too sucky for you. The, I've never been into wrestling. I never really got the gist of it, but 
Just, it's fun. Just it's I remember sorry. I was waiting for Silent Hills to come, but they canceled it. Silent Hill? Nobody needs Silent Hill. No, 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 no. Shut up, no. Wait, PT? <laughs> no, yeah. Nobody... <laughs> I don't so think good. anybody wants that. Okay, yeah. wait, no. It was PT, rem- did you? Oh God, it's just one fact of the f- the, the 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 demo yeah. that fucked me up, and I have never touched it again. Like because there's like um there's like ways you can play it online. Yes. Because in the coding of the game, turns out this demon lady, the who the st- the spirit is behind you at all times. Yeah. Yeah. In the coding, the character that the demon lady, shit is on your back the whole game. So, but you didn't they know. They don't. They don't uh, say about the story. It's really short. It's basically about this lady named Lisa. That this guy, the the protagonist, uh, had some issues with her. Some stuff like that. Yeah. They have. Uh, they were going to have a baby, I guess, mm-hmm. because they're like a like a fetus, I believe. In Didn't the, she just gauge it out? I I think so. Yeah, because like I remember when I, I saw it, like is the baby is not even like developed, so it's like on the sink. I, yeah, I wanna yeah. it's you guys as you know hardcore gamers. I want to ask you, what is there fun? Like, like why are for you guys uh, horror games fun? <laughs> Why Can I go first? Yeah, please Oof. do. I mean, I, horror games. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Okay, I am a freak since I was little. I've I'm a coward. I have, like I <laughs> I am a coward. Story but of my life. Yeah, but I've always am always I'm always interested on things beyond our like our comprehension, like like ghosts and stuff. The unknown. The unknown. Yeah, basically something that doesn't have a f- solid like answer. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. There you go. Um. So basically, I love horror games just for the sole fact that there's always something keeping you on your feet. Like you always, you're under. All of your senses are on. And you're always like constantly there, but you have to really be in the story to get what you have to do next but mm-hmm. the jump scares are there and oh. like the, the it's just so uh, entertaining it's that just the adrenaline the, so the, yeah about? i'm addicted to adrenaline so i'm just like what are we talking yes, about yes 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 uh, uh, horror games horror games no. i made a i made a question you're not like, into horror okay. games i like watching them i'd rather watch a youtuber do it but me playing them? <laughs> my first my first horror game that i've ever played it was um Fuck, I forgot its name. Is the one in it the mental five in the f- in the mental hospital? Damn it, PewDiePie played it. Uh, oh my god, it's like a mental hospital in Outlast. Ah! Outlast. <laughs> 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 that one. Outlast is my favorite series and is the first horror game I ever played. I regretted it because I played it on a school night at night and it was I was alone, no call, no nothing. I was just me, the controller, and the TV. Pineapple. Why do you what for you? What makes horror games fun? Adrenaline. <laughs> yes. It's just the adrenaline and the stories sometimes are really interesting. You people are yeah. fucked up. Yeah. yeah. What do you think makes horror games fun for these cycles here? Definitely the story and the fucked up thing in it. I mean, <laughs> five like five like right now like one the of two one of the two favorite and the most fucked up stories that I like si- Silent Hills. Ooh. Yes. Uh, FNAF. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just know I will never, ever touch a horror game in my life. Five Nights ever. at Freddy's yeah. is the perfect representation that you do not need a big budget or a such a intensely made game for it to be e- like scary and entertaining. Mm. Because yes. Five Nights at Freddy's story wise. Damn, it's so good. Not enough to convince me. You, it, you get no, so really invested. Good. Like even I was like uh, the other day, I was watching um, Matt Pat's videos just to like kind of catch up, and you can see how everything kind of just goes fucky in in like a matter of days with any release of anything. And plus, bro, bro, children are dying. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so funny. I mean, but when you think about it, why do you think? I think that that's the reason why it is so popular. 
buying kids. Because when you, yeah, when you play with kids, also, that's on why a horror people, story. That, so that's it's why, more fucked up. It's so more that's fucked why up. people suddenly mm. love Anakin Skywalker, the shell murder. I get it. No, I mean, it's just that it makes you know, because like when you look There's at like somebody murdering a, like an older guy, like an old guy, it's fucked up, but you're not going to really be like, yeah, all right. But if like but you see, like, yeah, when like it's someone killing a kid, like that's when you know, oh, that's fucky. Uh-huh, that's when you're crossing a whole new boundary, dude. Yeah. Before I close the show, we, I, I don't want to let it I get love how I, it. I love how we ended I don't up wanna, with kids yeah. dying. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want... I, I wanna Children just, death. I just want to just brush that over because you guys are sickos. You want to know about One Horror? No, no, I don't want to know anything. Subnautica. No, 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 no. no. It's wait, free wait, right now. That. It's free? On the PlayStation. I want to end this. I want to end no. this. You can have it. I'm going to download it they, as they, soon the, as I get they, home. They put it on the deal, play at home. And you can download it. Yo, I want to end this in a little more of a. I'm gonna play. I want to end this on a little more of a lighthearted tone. John, what is your favorite game of all time? Monster Hunter. <laughs> so I bet you cannot, <laughs> no pause. You cannot, you cannot wait to get home and play the new game, right? I already bought it. I already have it. I'm about, I already own it. <laughs> own I it. it. Oh. I have. I even bought stories. And that's a completely whole new debacle no, and a lot of no, rant. No, no. Fuck Yami, that game. Yes. What is your favorite game of all time? Fuck. I'm going to go with Undertale. Undertale? Good, <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I mean, Undertale and... Um, Nightmare at Freddy's? Damn, I'm generic as hell. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you said. Damn, I get. I know. I, I am. I am. But it's just it's so good. No, you guys are fucked up. <laughs> Pina, what is your favorite Pokemon. game of all? <laughs> no. You certainly. You know you. I look at <laughs> you and I actually I see the Pokemon out of you. I thought it was Zelda. What do you think, Jumpies? One is favorite. Jumpies. Like, yes. Does he have a good taste in games? He. Likes, I think he has. He likes games, like kind of like. Not trippy. Animal Crossing is not trippy, but you know, it's kind of like wacky, I think. <laughs> kind of weird. Wacky. Yeah. Like Papa Papa Papa. Uh, yes! Oh, Little Nightmare. Little Night. He <coughs> loves Little oh, Nightmares. I nightmare. forgot Little Nightmares. Oh my God, yes. He absolutely loves. And I mean, that's also kids. Fuck. I mean, new, <laughs> like, new recent game that I'm like, I'm into, into is um, at the Friday Night Funking. Friday Night Funking. Yeah. I have one. It's addicting. You and play I think it? it no. Ah. I have one and I think it's one of the greatest games <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Maybe the greatest, <laughs> but you know, it is it, a good day to have. K H Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Not in this life <coughs> nor the next. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <No>. Copyright. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> My favorite game and I believe is in the conversation to be the greatest game of all time. Sly Cooper? No. Oh, <laughs> I oh love oh? Sly Cooper, but no. Oh, oh? <laughs> Donkey Kong Country. Not only it features some of the most memorable characters in Nintendo history, it features one of the greatest. And then no, 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 no. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Chucky is dead. <laughs> it's not Donkey Kong Country. That one was at the that, that's that, 64. That, that, that one's 64. 64? 64? <laughs> yeah. I remember that Donkey one. Kong I remember that one because <laughs> back then, back then, it was <laughs> yes, back then it was po it was popular to play either at the Mario games or Sonic games. I didn't like either of them, mm -hmm. so I just stood up with Donkey Kong, and I really loved I it. I believe, I believe. Not only Donkey Kong has some of the best characters in Nintendo franchise and history. The, and the OSTs. Let and me, the let OSTs me give, are let me really give my point. I'm going to have a panic attack. <laughs> and the OSTs are really good. <laughs> Donkey Kong noticed. Country doesn't just have one of them. It, it is. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to define it. It He's has confident. the greatest soundtrack of all I time. Don't know, man. Have you heard a beautiful song from Nier? That shit. Hype. There's I nothing have compared... You heard that is it, there is nothing to compare. Oh, Nier has. No, there's nothing compared <laughs> to David Weiss' 
work in Donkey Kong Country. Just saying. I don't know, man. Beautiful song. It's really out there. I mean, I mean Sonic really games are have good, great music and everything. Mm -hmm. I that, right? I yes. stand the my ground song, that yeah, Donkey Kong no. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country has the greatest soundtrack in video game history. What were you gonna say, Jamie? It's uh, not underrated, but I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Uh, Paper Mario. Paper Mario. Which one? The Thousand Door. The first one. I think it's a thousand door, right? I don't remember I don't the the GameCube one. The GameCube yeah. one. Yeah, yeah I believe that. That is. game, gee, it's so good. It's so fun. That one is one of the best Mario games, and I would not take no for an answer. You know, I have played so, like the Mario games the I one. enjoy thoroughly enjoyed were mainly the the RPG ones, the one that you play on the Game Boy. Oh Color. yeah, because the Mario and Luigi series. The one those I shit were hard, and I feel the storytelling in the world was more expansive than a regular 2D. The one, one I was disappointed was uh, the one that arrived in the Wii, I believe. Which one? Which the one? Sticker. Ah, the w with the... the yeah, the platformy one. Uh-huh, I yeah. didn't like that uh, one. I mean, either. Mm -mm. Uh, I still... Weird. It took the thing that we all love from Paper Mario with the turn base and... and yeah. And the paperish stuff. Um, I think another one good, like, Mario game that doesn't really get a lot of talking about is the first um, Mario Galaxy one. I think it does. It does I get talked a lot. I, I mean, it got maybe. it got released on the com on the anniversary. Oh, by sixty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> sixty dollars. <laughs> but it's it's really good. But honestly, like, like for my part, and the people I talk to, NRC online, they, they don't really talk about it a lot. People talk about the OG Mario's and they stuff, just, like, but they kind of skip Galaxy and like yeah. the first one is so. I like, like more Sunshine. Sunshine really. Sunshine is very good. It's really good. Yes, that one is really, really good. But too. I still stand my ground. One of the greatest games of all time oh, and man. the greatest video game soundtrack of all times belongs to Donkey Kong Country on the original Super Nintendo. Then I can say story-wise, one of the greatest games that have a story right now is Five Nights at Freddy's. And you cannot tell me otherwise because it's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's true since the complexity is so goddamn good. Exactly, and the world is so big and vast. You know what? No, we all remember that Pokemon shit. Fuck you, John. <laughs> <laughs> you humans suck. Anyways, this is the end of the episode. Uh, if you have fun with this messy episode, let us know in the comment sections down below. Where, John, where can the guys find you? I have Instagram, but I forgot I had Twitter also. I've been using it more frequently. <laughs> <laughs> where, like, where can the guys find you on Twitter? I have Twitter. Where can the guys find you, Jamaris? Uh, you can find me on Instagram by jamscags underscore and on Twitter by tyjams with two S and an underscore. Where can the guys find you? I mean, I have an Instagram, but I don't use it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I how about your kind of ish use Twitter? Can it I shout out my TikTok after? Yeah, you can just do the shout out now. Um, <laughs> my, my TikTok is sweet. Oh, Wait, <laughs> I'm you, you know, <laughs> to make it easy, at Chevacera. Uh, For make it easy for you guys, I'm gonna put all of those links. Sweet pitch into pills, the there you go. <laughs> in the <laughs> descriptions down below. You can just follow us, all of us, at Beyond Stuff PR in any of the social media platforms of your choosing. So, until next time.